This is us in the morning. <laughs> After 10 hours on a sleeper train. And oh yeah, but we're in Bucharest. So we've got a couple of hours to kill. We're going to go and see Bucharest. And when I see how fast we ran off this train, unreal, right? Anissa smacked her arm on the train. Her bag was half on, half off. And I, my pants are falling down, honestly. Now, a new injury. So this is Bucharest station. Have a look. Have a look. They got a McDonald's, a saw coffee, and a bunch of other things. I thought this station would be less chaotic, but it really is chaotic. Right, we're out, all refreshed and ready, and it is 100 million degrees. I can't even say look, it's got sweaty tash again. That's Bucharest station, I'm just outside. Look at it. My, how the mighty have fallen. Look at the trains we've traveled in. Look at where we are now. We're here, look at this. Old Town Square. That's, uh, that's the equivalent of our Piccadilly Circus. Look at that. Right, University. Yeah. And then there's this guy with a big uh, monument. I don't know what he's doing. We're here in Old Town. Can have a look. Another city, another old town. Look at all these old town buildings. Look at this old town here. <laughs> How beautiful this church is. Stunning. So we're currently eating at Jack's Pub. Um, and then we're going to go head out, look at some sights and then get a train back to the uh, airport. Look at Anissa currently being antisocial on the phone. Trying to download stuff. Look at this building. It's a bank apparently. Right, so we just had, we had a wander, we got some souvenirs and now we sat waiting for the bus to go back to the station. 6110, this is our bus. Now we're on the bus. Oh, what do you feel on a scale of 1 to 10? How hot are you on a scale of 1 to 10? Right, we're just at the airport and Anissa, how much did your bag come to when you weighed it? 18.6. And how much did mine come to? 18.3. Courtesy. <laughs> they doesn't seem it though. I genuinely, yours seems so much more lighter. Yeah. So we were over here um, and what we did, we walked around the entire airport only to come right back to join our queue here. When I say we're on the cheapest of cheapest airlines, I've never even heard of it. Whiz. Whiz Sounds like we. So we just checked in. I've got my Harry Potter blanket. Um, Anissa has herself. Just gonna head over to the boarding area. And this airport was quite nice. The guy at the check-in desk was actually really lovely, yeah. weren't he? Like, uh, that's some nice. I think he probably was doing bare minimum, but because it's been such a long time since we've had someone be nice to us, we're thinking that was amazing yeah, customer service. She's put in the bottle. The bottle that she's carried around that she hasn't actually used. Uh -huh. But to go in plastic recycling. So, um, our train's been delayed. Our <laughs> train, uh, our flight's been delayed. I uh, don't know how long for and whilst I appreciate still being in Europe, I just want to get home now. Um, not that I don't want my, I want my holiday to end, I just I'm tired. I've already warned Anita I will not be speaking to her for up to six months. <laughs> yeah, because I've spoken to her too much on this holiday. So uh, our plane is finally ready to go. Although this is a queue, right? And me and Nisa are backseat betting, so we're sad. We're right on the last row, seat 40. So, what's the point of getting up? Just stay here. Look at this. Do you think we can say you're disabled? Can we, do you think we can say you're disabled with all your injuries and then... Maybe. Yeah. <gasps> so it's coming to our end of our journey and I guess we... I need to put in probably what, what we end up doing instead. So we ended up going from Calais to Brussels, Brussels to Amsterdam, Amsterdam to Berlin, Berlin to Dresden, Dresden to Prague, Prague to Bratislava, Bratislava to Krakow, Krakow to Vienna, Vienna to Budapest, Budapest to Timisoara, from Timisoara to Bucharest, and from Bucharest back home, flying home to Edinburgh, Edinburgh. and then Edinburgh to Preston. What a journey. <laughs> That's all I can say. I've never quite understood why people just queue like you know we're going on the flight so we're just sat here chilling well, I'll join the end there when it's moved up a little they're not gonna not let us on are they 
Currently on the uh, transfer bus, and I was running away from him because I didn't want. I wanted to go on the different transfer bus, and then she doors close, and I'd be like, "Bye." Does anyone know where first class is? Just direct me. Just outside the plane. Look. Me and Anissa are in the North Fleet. We're in the North Fleet seat. Can I have a look at your ticket? What number is it? It's one, one, a. one, one A. First class. Um, so I asked for the um, first class passage and they put us That's near the enough. toilets right at the back of the plane. Anissa is currently sat on her own. She had to buy three seats because she's... So I like sitting at the back of the plane because I feel like I'm one of these lot. Part of the crew. Like, Look at her. I'm one of these lot. Does anyone want any, any drinks off the trolley? The good thing about sitting in the back is all the food is underneath. I got a baguette. We're here, finally landed in Edinburgh, although we were delayed so we have no way of getting home now and there's no trains. We can't sleep a train. I mean I got to Poland and Vienna back quicker than going from Edinburgh to Poland. Here! Hello Edinburgh! <laughs> so excited, she got glasses on, what is this, where's the sun? It's 9 o'clock at night, it's, no it's sorry, 7 at night. They've done this like automated system right now at Border Falls, look at the state of the queues. Look at the state of these queues. Not making anyone's life any easier here, pal. Oh, the warrant, absolute nightmare. So we managed to skip the queue. Anissa goes ahead and gets her passport checked and guess whose passport gets flagged up? Again, me. So I just have to queue up for another hour. <sighs> Finally here and the bags still aren't here. You know what the worst part of a holiday is? This bit. Standing here, waiting for your bag to come through there. And the excitement of when you see a colour that's yours, that you think is yours, turns out it isn't. Since our journey ends here, we, I would like to ask you uh, two questions. Best country and worst country. Uh, best probably Dresden I really enjoyed. So Germany, surprisingly good. They were all so different but I all enjoyed them in different ways. I liked the Slovakian people. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And the Romanian people. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Um, my least favorite was Prague, but I think the the rain had an impact as well. One hundred percent. Funniest moment is Amsterdam hostel with fifteen beds. Yeah. And like that light shining over us. I think if I was to do it again, I would pack less. Hundred percent. Yeah, I can't do a little bit. I think I'd do a few more sleeper trains because as hard as they hard as they were, it gives you more of the day. To do yeah, stuff, yeah. and I think they're not really that bad. No, if you once we got used to it, I think the first one was a bit of a shock to us. Yeah. Once we got used to it, it's quite good, isn't it? But yeah, it's been an amazing journey. Um, I'm gutted to have finished. I feel like I, I need another couple of days. Yeah. Um, what, what feels it's kind of surreal at the moment. Yeah. So if you were to go back, what country do you want to see again properly? I probably want to see Germany a bit more. The history behind it. Um, yeah. Stuff. I'd want to see. Um, a bit more Budapest. Oh yeah, I agree with Budapest. I want to see Budapest again. I mean like properly, like get to, I'd probably stay there a couple of days. The other ones, I feel like I really got quite a lot of experience from them. I just think Budapest was one of those that, maybe even Bucharest as well. I don't think I got a chance to see yeah, Bucharest properly. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go again next year. I'm probably going to go for like a month and do all the other countries in Europe. Yeah, but, but with wheels. Bloody hell. You can get them. Yeah, I am going to. I will not be seeing her in the next six months because I have seen everything I am done. But no, it's been a pleasure. It's been an absolute pleasure uh, traveling the world with you, man. Yeah, um, it's, it's been a good laugh. It's been a very good laugh. So much. I know. I but honestly, I could not have picked a better person. So it's been an absolute pleasure, mate. Right, guys. So we're here. Oh, wait. I don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Edinburgh was our last destination. That's the end of the vlogs. Hope you've enjoyed them. Until next time.